So no matter how great the setback, how severe the failure, you never give up. You never give up. You pick yourself up, you brush yourself off, you push forward, you move on, you adapt, you overcome. That is what I believe. Just like I said, pendulums are the best deck, and I'm going to prove it. I said it's going to be a pendulum only channel. Let's go. Video number one, pendulums only. We got fluffle pendulums. One negate, two negate, three, four, five negates, baby. We got five negates in here. I'm going to show you how it's done. This deck is not dead. Time to see greatness in action. Once upon a time, there was a man called Kobe. Once upon a time, there's a man called Michael Jordan. Once upon a time, there's a man called Steven Trifonoski. You are from now on going to put my name along the greats. Let's go. So, first thing first, we got Toy Bender, Chronograph, Terraforming of Dr. Avion. We got a decent hand, Fuffle Pendulums. I'm going to show you guys now how to put up four or five negates easily, regardless of the hand. Yes, this is a good hand, but so is every hand because you're playing the best deck. Now, Abductor, boom. Three spells just like that. You can search anything at this point. Fuffle Pendulums gives you the versatility to search for multiple different things one little thing to note here is in this list we are playing one ocg card it's fluffle angel it's a fluffle pendulum card the second that card comes out this is all possible but the boards are still possible right now in the tcg just instead of fluffles you play another engine which i'll show you guys in the future but it's fluffle pendulum and one more thing to note is this video is dedicated to abhishek joshi my patreon donated to make a great crazy bubble pendulum video we got three for you guys coming up back to back to back with thunder dragons in it eventually as well but boom just like we use toy vendor toy vendor is broken with dark worm that's why dark worm is so good in this day especially with fluffles and why fluffles are so good we use uh vendor's effect purposely to bring worm out to add zero uh utilizing the vendor's effect in case you drop bubble if you don't it doesn't matter you get a free summon you get a special any card from your hand for those that don't know what vendor does once per turn you can discard a card Draw a card, reveal it. If it's a Fuffle special, any monster from your hand. So you discard the Dark Worm. If it happens to be a Fuffle, you can special anything you want. If not, you bring in the Dark Worm from Grave. So it's a free way to put Dark Worm in the Grave. And boom. Just like that, we move on. And then we use Iris Effect to pop the Vendor. That's why Sky, uh, we play Sky Iris and Odd Eyes well, as well, obviously. Pop the Vendor. Get the Fuffle. Boom. Chrono, Avion. And we get the uh, Fuffle Dog off Toy Vendor. Just look how the, plus, like, the pluses just keep going on and on and on. And you're going to notice... Uh, you play a bunch of one card negates, fuffles just to get the little plus engine going. We could have got used uh, wings. There's no, you're not even activating wings here. You're just using fuffles in terms of their plusing. You literally use electric to pop just to get a free plus one card. Dark worm, jackal, persona. You're playing so many one card negates. Boom, dweller and three one card negates with crazy pluses. That's what you should expect out of this deck moving forward. It is crazy. This is duel number one. I'm not going to show you one more duel where it's Fuffle Pendulum and just pure Fuffle Pendulum, not Fuffle Pendulum Thunder Dragon, which is going to be safe for another video, but Fuffle Pendulum is amazing. I'm telling you guys, the pluses is absolutely unreal. The second Fuffle Angel comes out, it's over. It's absolutely over. Pendulums will be the best deck as it is again with Fuffles in it. You got to have, Fuffles is just for a plus engine. Just how DDDs were a thing. Now Fuffles will be that thing. You get to search, draw as many cut times as you want. This is without this is without the Fuffle Wings play. We didn't do this even with Fuffle Wings. We just happened to draw Toy Vendor. Toy Vendor gets you Dog, which gets you Angel, which is uh, a lot of pluses for free. And the Fuffle Dog here, we, uh, Fuffle Angel's effect is just a scale 8 pendulum. The point of this now is every single hand should give you uh, Gate 0, which is scale 0, and Fuffle Angel, which is scale 8. Every single hand with the ability and the versatility of Dark Worm and Toy Vendor, etc., etc. So this was duel number one. It's not just duel this opening has to show you guys the power. Yo, what'd you say? <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, they're, they're roasting my Bubble Pendulum. In reality, Bubble Pendulum is the greatest deck known to mankind at the moment. But now that is duel number one. I'm now gonna show you guys duel number two. So you guys seen the raw power in duel number one. Now I'm gonna show you guys duel number two. Again, these aren't duels. They're spe uh, specifically test hands to show you guys the power but for this i'm going to show the actual duel and how the board faces off against what i play so it's essentially like a, a, a duel you guys will see the raw power of this deck now again this hand we open we only open two pendulums with opening hand this isn't even a good hand we open two fluffles apex avion persona dragon abductor no scale eight uh who knows what will happen here who knows 
We use bear, wings, vendor. We, we're going to draw two off vendor here. Hopefully we draw something nice. Abductor getting a little a scale there. Anything can happen here. We did draw a, a Fuffle. We summoned Avion to ensure hand traps don't, uh, can't do anything against us. Vendor's effect, we discarded to, to special an Avion, and Avion will now allow us to stop the hand trap if he hand trapped us throughout the whole little play. So the only uh, time he could have hand trapped us was when we searched out Fuffle Dog, uh, and it was only Droll. So if he drolled that, uh, it would have sucked. But that's the only uh, hand trap that would have stopped us, because now if they hand trap any, any single uh, time throughout the entire play, we have an Apex Avion to protect. And now we get to draw two up Buffalo Wings. We draw another Avion and a Sky Iris. And uh, our Bender effect, we get Buffalo Angel. And now here, I was thinking, like, oh, there's so many plays I could do here. Uh, do I want to go Electrum? Do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? All my uh, my plays are protected with Avion. But maybe some, sometimes saving the Electrum is the right play. And we use Abductor now to get a Mythical Beast Jackal. Just get another one card in the gate. We use Iris to pop the Abductor to get a low scale. We then simply put a low scale there. Pen summon up the Abductor. Another Avion, a Jackal, and a Persona. We did draw the Avion, but again, if you play 15 one-card interruptions, if it wasn't the Avion, it's going to be the Persona. If it wasn't the Persona, it's going to be the Jackal. If it wasn't the Jackal, it's going to be the Thunder Dragons, which are in the deck, we just didn't draw them. And drawing one Thunder Dragon equals two Colossuses, so it would have been even worse for the opponent. And boom, just like that, no Electrum needed. We go into our rank four, we save our Electrum for next turn, and we got Dweller, double Avion, Jackal, and Persona Dragon. Good luck, have fun, you lose instantly. Doesn't matter what you play. That's five negates, good luck, have fun. The only possible deck that has any chance against this is a trap deck that doesn't even use monster effects, such as Altergeist. And hey, guess what? We're facing Altergeist. But that's all good, because we're still going to win. He impermanence is the Dweller. I don't know what he's playing, so yeah, of course I'm going to AV on that right away. And then, boom. He summons Altergeist, uh, Milosk. The whole Altergeist deck sucks. Uh, none of these, the only cards that I have to do anything against that deck is literally Avions. There's no counters on Jacko, but that's all good. I'm going to negate its effect with Avion. Now we got double Avion in hand. He's going to set a bunch of cards, and we're simply going to whoop him next turn. Now he pulls off Reckless Greed. I'm like, cool, no problem, fam. And then he pulls out Mind Crush when I had double Avion in hand. That sucked. Goodbye, Avion. My dogs. But bye. Or my chickens or whatever. Now, we are playing another OCG card. If you guys want to look at it, Otter's Revolution Dragon. This is, we are playing Revolution Angel. So if we're playing that uh, OCG card anyways, we might as well play Revolution Dragon anyways. None of these cards are needed for this deck whatsoever it is not needed for the deck but just to showcase some cool combos for you guys with fuffles and the whole point of fuffles Otis Revolution Dragon gets Dark Worm more it shows the power of Dark Worm and Toy Vendor uh utilizing Dark Worm and Toy Vendor is almost like Exodia when you have both of them in hand it's just incredible and now he pulls, plays this card Trap Trick which I didn't even know existed until this duel but he gets to get any trap from his deck and he gets Storm Duster and he's gonna hit my Iris and my Fuffle Angel which definitely sucks because with that, I have no scales now. I have I, I could get that to get a Pendulum Dragon. The Otis Arc Pendulum Dragon could have a high scale in my hand. But I got Dweller in the extra zone. I'm like, I'm good. I could chill. I can relax here. We're going to plus a lot with Vendor. He's going to attack, attack, attack. What's he, what's he going to do with two cards in hand after a Reckless? Like, there's nothing he can do. He negged himself. Like, like, like this. my deck pluses too much. And his de he's playing Altergeist. We top deck the, the Wings. We're about to go plus five off of the Wings. Because that's just the deck. Boom. We drew that Thunder Dragon. I'll tell you guys about this card that we can simply pen summon two Thunder Dragons now. Get two Colossus if we want. But again, we got Dweller in there. I was thinking about tripping summoning and wasting like going to Electrum if I want to. But there's really no need. I'm just going to attack him with this. So as you guys see, Fluffle Pendulums is insane. Those are two duels for you guys. Tomorrow's video, we are going to showcase uh, the deck list. And then the video after that, we're going to showcase Thunder Dragon Fluffle Pendulums. And show you... How just how powerful that is, and how it could put up boards like this easily just by drawing one Thunder Dragon. Because drawing one Thunder Dragon equals two Colossuses. It's absolutely insane. And it, you have to, I don't care what deck, I don't care what version of Pendulums you're playing, you absolutely must play Triple Thunder Dragon in it without a doubt. Triple Three Thunder Dragon without a doubt, the rest Pendulums, just draw Thunder Dragon, you're good. It equals two, one card equals two Colossuses. It's insane. Thunder Dragons by itself puts up two Colossuses or three if they're lucky, but one, pen, one card in the, pen, the whole hand. Equal two classes and the other four equal another two three negates. Depends on two good best deck. Hope you guys like the video. Deck that's coming tomorrow. See you guys then. Peace.